11 25 fit people come, come out of nowhere oh. i'm just like oh yeah hi you busting that crew busting busting that crew do your thing boop do your real thing boop like comment and subscribe to uh. hey busting back Bussin' back crew, bussin', bussin', back crew. Hey y'all, so wink stop, so it's gonna be another wink stop video. And so, okay, so y'all saw, if y'all, y'all go watch the video. That's for wink stop. So basically, for me, my brother, Bren, was a manager. It was like, okay, my wink stop? My wing stop drop on drama like that shit was crazy. I feel like I was like I can't I mentally, physically, emotionally cannot, will not, shall not go through it. But I stayed. Stayed. So it all started because. It was drama going on in my other job, Abercrombie Kids, I had a mom. And then I was just like, I wasn't feeling some of the management. I, I wasn't feeling some of the management. Um, it was like, how you gonna tell, listen, how you gonna tell me, like let's say I'm doing shipment, I pick up the phone just to see what time it is. How are you gonna tell me you come out of nowhere? How are you gonna tell me, um, are you working? Put your phone down. But next, you know what you're doing? You're on the phone, not worrying about the store, not on the store, not on the floor, looking at the customers or looking at the employees or worrying about supervising. You're not supervising. Let's say that. You're not supervising, doing your job. But once I pick up the phone, just see what time it is, you bitching. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. It's just crazy. But like, yeah, so I thought I give my two weeks notice, but they still wanted me in a system. So basically I didn't, it was like, it's like I quit. It's like I took, I took a break. I took a break. Let's just say that. I took a break. So, um, yeah, that was like around January. I officially took a break in February and then I applied to Wingstop in January and I started working in February and then from February until the last week of July, I worked that week up. So the interview process for me, it was like once I walked in, because my brother told me to go at a certain time because he knew the first, he knew one of the managers. So once I walked in, I took my interview with the general manager because I think everybody was taking interviews that day. I had to do Wingnet. It's like this website for employees to like, like modules and stuff like that for like how they could, um, what to learn before they start doing training and stuff like that. Like, you know, modules and shit. You know, module and stuff like that. So when I finished, I was on a schedule the week after. They was giving me like three, four days, you know, the six to one a.m. shift. And mind you, I'm like, this is my senior year. And I was just like, oh, like, that's a lot. <laughs> so it was kind of funny here and there. People came and go. People don't do their job. People did their job. People think they're the boss, but they're not the boss. Crazy. Um. But like yeah, wing stop. Well my okay, let me tell you something. My wing stop was a franchise, not a corporate. And the person who owned my wing stop is Uncle Luke's wife, Christine. Christina, Christine, y'all don't call me. But Uncle Luke's wife owned my wing stop. And if y'all watching this <laughs> But but like yeah, and I feel like let me be real, I feel like a lot of shady shit was going down, but that's none of my business though. We didn't say shit. And um yeah, busting back group. Uh and um uh yeah. Um it's like I think I'm missing some things, but I'm so sorry. It's like I'm missing I'm gonna just hold up my hand. And let me see. Um, do I, rec okay, Wingstop is like, okay, fast food. 
Wingstop is not, I consider Wingstop as a restaurant, not fast food, because it takes 13 minutes for your wings to be cooked, six minutes for boneless and tenders. So if you just place your orders and you want can I, fresh wings, like straight out the oil, it takes 13 minutes for you to get straight out the oil. Because, for example, like you place your order and then two minutes later, how long is it going to take? Five minutes, right? Five. It's wings. This is not McDonald's. This is not Burger King. This is not Wendy's. This is not Taco Bell. Like, no, this is wing stop. 13 minutes, ma'am. And then let's say it is, let's say we already had chicken on a bag, um, on a um, fryer. Like, they dropped the bag and they didn't really have to drop the bag. So we had like a lot and it just came up. And we give it to you, you're gonna be like, dang, that's bad. Don't put in your mindset that's gonna be every day, sweetie, because that's not gonna be every day, sweetie. It was just that one time thing. And then what I hated was I'm a cashier, right? So I'll be in the front taking your order. And then let's say you're in the front with me too. After I take your order, you're in the front. And then after that, you want to ask me how long, how long again or something like, I'm not back there. I'll be like, talk to the cook because sometimes I could tell you 10 minutes and you could walk outside. And next thing you know, he calls your name right there two minutes later. And I'm just like, oh shit. And then you want to get mad at me. How you going to get mad at me if you never be mad? Like, oh, it pissed me off. And but like, yeah. So, one, Wingstop is not fast food. Two, Wingstop is a restaurant. <laughs> Three, the cashiers don't know how long your food is going to take most of the time. Ask the motherfucking cooks. Period. Four. If we close at twelve a.m. Why is y'all walking y'all narrow behind in my store at 11.50 p.m.? And don't be calling us. No. What I hate is it's like 11.45 and y'all calling the store. Why are you calling my store, sweetie? I don't even be answering. And I'm, I'm going to say this because, you know, I quit. I don't care. I don't answer the phone calls at... Okay. So, if we busy... Like, cause we be having a rush. Like, people like wings that night. Understand that? It'd be games, football, basketball, whatever. Right? Baseball, shit. I don't know. So, if everybody, like, let's say one person walk in, next you know two people walk in, groups, groups, groups walk in. Some days, they be trying me. I be like the only motherfucker on the cashier. They be trying me. I don't know. So then, if I'm the only person on the cashier, phone ringing, I'm taking your order. I'm not gonna answer the. Phone. I don't care. I'm not gonna answer the phone because I feel like first in, first come, first in. Even though you're on the phone, you're not, you're not in the store. And sometimes when I answer the phone, it be for some like stupid stuff like how much your stuff. Okay, I don't want it no more. We wasted my time. I could just took that person order. So reason why I don't answer the phone. And then why are you calling the store at 11:50? And then let's say I do answer that phone call at 11.50 p.m. when we close at 12, some, some, I'm right outside or I'm 15 minutes away. No, no, sir. We close at 12 a.m. We're closed. 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 Okay. Like, no. And I, oh. No, no, sir. No, ma'am. No ham. No turkey. Because last time I did that, I answered the phone call at like 11.20. And then it was like, yeah, I'm at so and so light. I'm on 7th Ave. And then. 7.50, like from 7.20, it took you like 30 minutes to get up. And I'm just like, your food sitting there, lobby, the chairs already stacked up, floor clean, and then you come in here dirty in my foot. I'm just like, I just can't, I just don't answer the phone. Just don't answer the phone. Period. That's, that's it, that's it, that's it. And, and then, okay, yeah, like when we close, and then it'd be like a group of people, it's like from, let's say, from 9.50 p.m. to... 10, like an hour later, like 10 50. Nobody come in. 11 25 tick. People come out of nowhere. I'm just like, oh, y'all high. Y'all must y'all must be on them drugs because what the fuck y'all come from? Like, yo. And then sometimes they had the nerve to be like, oh, I called. Okay, if we're slow, I answer the phone sometimes. But other than that, place your if you're on the phone to call. You could be on the phone to place the order because when they place their order, it prints on a t um on the little 
computer machine and it prints out a little ticket. That's what I'm trying to say. So something y'all sometimes y'all be wasting five minutes on the phone, keep calling, 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 ring, 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 head ass, but you can't place it on your phone and take five minutes of us. Stupid, stupid. And it's oh. them. All this pent up energy I got for this job, y'all. But like, yeah. And then, I don't know. It's like some days, some customers make it funny. Yeah, you know right? You hear me? Yeah. Tell me, tell me what I'm saying. Hey, you know what I'm saying? People still trying to hit at me. Like, okay, I'm like this. Um, two piece, eight piece. Right? Like, what you want? What you want to eat? Next, you know, after that, I'm like, then you can't smile, duh. Nate! I'm at work. You 35 and I'm 12. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm not 12. But I'm just saying. This is like... Go to your wife. <laughs> Shit. It pisses me off. But and I, oh. Also, what I hate is when I be taking an order and be like, you gonna pay for it? Bitch, I'm working! If I was gonna pay for it, why would I be working? Because your total is $85, sir. What the fuck is you ordering for $85? <laughs> Y'all know what? This is draining me right now. I'm gonna make a part two later. So, let's get it. I'm out. Bye.